Okay, good evening, dear ladies. Like I told you, we need to love each other and be nice to be each to each other, <laughs> and always have a smile. Know that no one can touch us unless Hashem gives them a permission. So even if we get a little bit of leaking, you know, from side to side, remember it's from Hashem. And I'll say something else. Bezrat Hashem about this. But anyway, let's bless first that we will all have the schut to greet Mashiach Tzitkenu Marchamim Murim B'marav Yamin Amen. Eliyahu Navi Eliyahu Tishvi Eliyahu Giladi B'marav Anu Shech David Eliyahu Nuhu Zechul Atov. And then we all have the schut to go to see the building of Beit HaMikdash Hashishim B'marav Yamin Amen. Ki Ayin Bay Niru Bishuvat Nai Tzion. Atat Akum Terachem Tzion Ki Et Lechanena Kiva Moed. Hashivenu Adonai Elecha Benashuba Chadesh Yameinu Kekedem. And may we all have the schut to go to Eretz Yisrael on the wings of eagle, and may we all have part in Eretz Yisrael Besiyat Elishmael. Beshem Hashem Nasa Benetzliach Enu Nivadu. Hashem Sfatai Tiftach Ufi Egiti Latecha, and everything is Beshem Kol Yisrael Besiyat Elishmael. So dear ladies, we already, this Shabbat is Chumash Mot, we are open, we finished Chumash Bereshit, we are opening Chumash Shmot Besiyat Adishmaya, and this is like a seret to make tshuva. This is called the time of the Shobavi. Um, our sages say the Shobavi, it, it comes from Yirmiyahu, the prophet, that always reports the children of Israel, told them to do tshuva. And who, if you heard the lesson on Tuesday, you heard about the false prophets that told the children of Israel, you are allowed to sin. Anyway, we give to Midim the sacrifices in the morning and before night, and this is to atone for all of the sins, so no, we are not allowed to sin. And anybody that that says, I will do tshuva and then I'll repeat the sin, his tshuva, his, his uh, repentance, that is not accepted. So dear ladies, it's written, Shubu Badim Shobabim. It means repent, naughty, uh, naughty children. And I want to give you, before I start with Chumash Mot, because it's, everything is about it, I would like to give you uh, the beginning from this book. It's an excellent book. Mofet Lechag. It has also all of the parshiot of the Shavuot. Uh, all the, it, it's, this is a sixth book. It had five books about the parshiot of Shavuot. This is about um, all of our righteous sages, but the Sparadim sages. We don't have a book like this. It's mamash unique. Because this is mamash unique. This is Mofet uh, Lachag, and there's Mofet Shabbat, and it's Bereshit, and the Shmot, each one has a different book. So I want to give you about Shavavim. And it says, Akinui Shavavim, Mekorot Pasuk, it starts in the Pasuk in Yirmiyahu, like we wrote over here, Shuvu Banim Shavavim, Erape Meshuvotechem, which means I will cure you if you repent. And the thing is this, when a person is sick, is sick physically, he, feels, he doesn't feel well, he goes to a doctor in order to heal himself. He goes to a rabbi that will daven for him. But the problem is like this. We are all, every, every, every creation in the world, everything that we see has two dimensions, more than two, but, but this is the main two dimensions. One is physical, so we see the table, it's physical, but the other one is spiritual. Okay, that there can't be an existence to the table without the spiritual part in it. And Hashem is everything, and everything Elokim is Akol, Akol Elokim, and everything is Hashem. So what happens when physically we don't feel well? We know we don't feel well. So we take Advil, we take, we go to a doctor, we daven, we put staka, we do things in order to help ourselves. But when our soul is sick, we are not aware of this. And, and, the, the, and the physical uh, uh, sickness comes because of, the soul, because of the soul. Because if the soul is sick, it eventually comes to the body. We have to, it means that we have to fix something. We have to fix something. Hashem is knocking on our door. And know that if Hashem knocks on our door, it means that He loves us. Et asher yohav Hashem yochiach. Why? Because we have a part in paradise, Began Eden. So he knocks on the door to fix all the things that we are left to fix in order that we will go straight to paradise. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this, is a, this is a passing world. We just come and we go out and it's like a train, okay? We go on the train and we don't know on which stop we're going to go out. We don't know where we're going to go out of this 
ממש הבל הבלים, everything is... We just came to fix. This is the world of action. Over here we can fix. When we go out, we can't fix anymore. But Medim Chopshi, King David says, chapter 88 in Tehillim, that when we are dead, that's it. When we pass away, we can't do any more mitzvot, we can't follow the commandments, we can't do, and then we understand how much it was important to have a light in our face for each other, to love each other, to be nice, to give a good word. Good word is charity without giving to money. Just with our mouth, that's, just with our smile, just with the light that comes from us, from our heart. Doesn't cost money. So what happens when the soul is sick, we are not aware of this. If we are aware, as Memash, Hashem gave, gave us a big chesed, it's a big mercy, if Hashem causes us to be aware of it. So, no, call a posel b'mumo posel. He who finds defaults in others, they are a mirror image of himself. This is how Hashem wants us to know how we need to change our character traits and to be better, better human beings and to be deservable of the term human being. So most of the time it's in our subconscious, we don't really see ourselves. We don't know that we, we don't behave nice to other people or we are jealous or we have anger. That sometimes we have anger like this. One, two, three, we, we can't control ourselves. Everything that we need, because there's good anger and there's not good anger. Every character trait has a positive side and a negative side. So we came to work on ourselves. That's why when we study Torah, we, we, we soften our soul. We open our eyes to see what we need to fix. That's why we came over here. So, Besiyat, Shalom Arab. So, Besiyat Adishmaya, we see all of this and we come back to the Shabbari. So it says like this, and Hashem says, if you, if in the path of, that a person wants to walk through, Hashem opens the door for him. So if I want to fix myself, and I say, Hashem, okay, I don't know what I did before. Let's say now, at my age now, I decide everything that I said, if I slandered somebody, if I didn't behave nice to somebody, if I did something, I want Hashem to fix it. But I ask from Hashem that he will open the path for me. Do you understand? This is what we do. So, we, I'm continuing to read you from These are the days that we read the parshiot. Mamash, it starts this week because Shabbavim Taf Taf is Mamash starts in Chumash Shmot. It's Shin is for Shmot. Vav is Vayera. Bet is Bo. Then Bet Beshalach. And then we have you, Ditro, the Mem Mishpatim, and we don't have a leap year, but if we have a leap year, then there's Tetzave, Turma ve Tetzave. This year is not the... Uh, no, it's not a leap year, one adult, yes. Oh. Last year was a leap year. But, but so this is all the parshio that we have this year. Only when there's a leap year, we have also Turma ve Tetzave. So dear ladies, the Shana Muberat Tuma Vetetzabe. Arizal says, Rabbein Arizal told us, Shiamim Elu Mesugalim Beoter Letaken Pigmea Nefesh. Can you imagine these days can help us fix what we need in our soul? And if we fix what we need in our soul, all of the character traits that are not so good, then Besiata Dishmaim, but this we fix everything in my body, Bemidata Yesod. Especially the Arayot, especially Pgama Brit, especially uh, uh, taking a uh, sperm in, in, uh, in vain, Zera Levatala, and also the, the sperm in vain, because this is part of the ten counts of the Kabbalah, so the part of the so the fundamental part, this part is parallel to circum, uh, uh, circumcising. So this is parallel mm -hmm, to our mouth. So we, this is the time to fix it. So they are connected with each other. So he says, He who, who had intimate relationships that are forbidden, he has to fast, pay Dalet, 84 fasts. But you that he who goes to Pidion Haben, Pidion Haben, Pidion Haben, he who goes. You heard about Pidion Haben? 
you should go immediately and also eat with them when they have the pidyon ben and it's like we fasted to 84 because pay is 80 and dalet is four, like 84 fast the pidyon ben. Can you imagine just being in pidyon ben, but being and not speaking nonsense with people and mamash listening what to the kohen how he comes in order to to take the money from the father to take the rights of the firstborn from that child in order that the child will be uh, will be with his father and mother besiata dishma it's like he fasted 84 fasts and we continue lefichach yakov avinu that why that's why yakov this is the reason says yakov avinu that uh, was the reincarnation of the first human being tikeneti kuno shel adam rishon he Finish the fixing of the first human being, but maybe next lesson we'll speak about it. He finished it by, he got married at the age of 84. Can you imagine? Who got married at 84? Yeah. Yaakov Abinu. Bekach shebemeshach 84 shanim, pei dalet shanim, lo nisa, he wasn't married until the age of 84. Then he got married, velo ha'amar elotar, even one sperm didn't, didn't go out of him in order to fix what the first human being uh, did, Adam. Wow. So, and it says, and it says also that Noach and his sons, they also was engaged in fixing at the time of Shabavim. And that wasn't the time that we received the Torah. It was a lot, lot after. But because all of them, what said, you know, Noach could have been Mashiach. If Noach wouldn't, I put the uh, the vineyard and ta- and uh, agree to be a partner with a uh, with a uh, evil inclination, then Noach would have been Mashiach. There were so many gates that Mashiach could have already been here, but we fispas moto. Yemei shabavim kamoem ke aseret yemei tshuva. The Arizal says that these days that we read the portions of the week from Shemot, Ad Mishpatim, including Mishpatim Brucha Ba, is just like the 10 days of atonement. Ben Rosh Hashanah, between Rosh Hashanah and Yom HaKippurim. Bahem mekubelet atfila biyoter. It's time that our prayers are mamash accepted, the heavens are open for us. And it says, Gam HaTzadik anaki mikol shem, it's even the righteous person that doesn't have a lot of it because there's no righteous person that doesn't have a sin. And because of the Nakimi kol shemet siyal ufgam kadosh betahor chayav litanot. And he has to do and he has to fast. So what happens usually if you open a, if you open a shulchan aruch, if you the, the the book of commandments of the Jewish people, you will see over there that at this time they fast Monday. Thursday and again Monday, or oh, Thursday, Monday and Thursday. They fast all of these weeks. Why Monday and Thursday? Because the book of Torah is open at that time. Okay, these are big times of judgments. So on Monday and Thursday, usually there's the fast, but it's, it, it goes better. <laughs> Look, there's another thing that they do. Some of the tzaddikim, they start fasting, for example, Shmot, which is this Shabbat, Okay, I, I told you, let's see, there are six weeks of Shabbat Nachon. Here, yeah, Shmot is one, Vayra is two, Bo is shalosh, Veshalach is four, Yitro is five, and Mishpatim is six. Nachon? So these six weeks are parallel to all of the Sfirot that we need to fix. Sigat, Metzalemet? Okay, so the Sfirot that we need to fix, so we go to Chesed which is mercy, and then gvura, which is judgment, okay? And then we have tifere, beauty, and then we have netzach, which is eternity, and then we have hod, which is glory, and then we have yesod. Yesod, which is the circumcision, okay, the foundation. So, the first, the first parasha, which is now, shmot, the first parasha goes to chesed. It's the week of chesed to fix. The second parasha, I'm writing one, but you know this is Shmot, the Seder. Then the second parasha is a parallel to judgment, Shtayim, Vayera. And then the third one is parallel to Bo. It's Tiferet, it's beauty. And then the fourth one goes to eternity, Netzach. And the fifth one goes to Hod, 
glory. And the sixth one is Yesod. Okay? So the righteous Sadiqim used to do like this. Some of them are giving you things that they used to do. So they started by the week of Shemot. They fasted on Sunday. Let me explain why. I'm going to write it over here. Okay, I'm going to write the weeks. This is Sunday. Yom Rishon. This is Rishon. Sunday, okay? And then Sunday Shani. Shaya, the Sunday, okay. last Sunday we missed it. Okay, okay. we missed it. Yom Sheni is Monday. Okay? Shlishi, Tuesday. Then we have Revi'i, Wednesday. And then we have Hamishi, Thursday. And then we have Shishi, Friday. Okay? So, for the first parasha, you see over here Shmot? On, on the week of Shmot, on the week of Shmot, this is the week of Shmot, they fast on Sunday. Why? Because Sunday is parallel to Chesed. Monday is parallel to Gvura. Maybe next week I will show you how it's connected to Yaakov Avinu and how he pro protects us Yaakov Avinu as Chuchelo. He's man. Because I don't want to go into it now, but, I, I, but just look. So San, uh, Monday is Gvua, is the second count of the Kabbalah. And then the third one is Tiferet, which is beauty. The, uh, Wednesday is parallel to Netzach, eternity. Um, Thursday is parallel to Hod, and Friday is Yesod. So we see Yom Rishon, maybe I'll write it in a different color. So the week of Shemot, they fasted on Sunday in order to fix all of the Sundays in their life because it's parallel to Asarat Yemei Tshuva, the 10 days of atonement. And on the week of Vaira, okay, on the week of Vaira, put it like this, Vaira, they fasted on Monday, which means next week they fast on Monday. And the fast starts from the morning until night, after we finish our beat. And the Nikata Anit. And on, on the week of Bo, they fast on Tuesday. On the week of Beshalach, they fast on Wednesday. Mamash Kacha. And on the week, of Yitro, they fast on Thursday. And on the week of Mishpatim, they fast, uh, they fast on Friday. So every week, it's uh, Mamash, the, this week it was on Sunday. Next week, when it's Parashat, parashat, parashat Baira, it's Monday. And by this, they are fixing all of the days of the week in their life. And by this, they are fixing also the middle because they are working on themselves. Abal Shem Tov Alav Shalom Shutot Again Alenu used to fast all of the all of these weeks of Shabbatim on Friday, especially on Friday, which is their sword, in order to fix mm -hmm, the mouth and sperm that came out uh, in vain. Zera Levatala their sword which means tikkun amila. So let's see, how do we know why that count these portions of the week we do this? So it's beautiful, I'm gonna tell. Anybody, must have telephone? Okay, anybody besiata dishmaya that reads these portions, because now we're going to exile, we're in exile with the children of Israel when they were in, in Egypt. So anyone that reads these portion and have the kavana, by reading this portion that it, it, it happens to me. I'm going through this. Yes, the telephone? Who, whose phone it is? Okay. Alexis, telephone. Also, I'm this good. It wants to have music. Okay. So, Bezrat Hashem, anybody that reads this portion and feels that it is happening to him, it's like he went in the, uh, Mamash went to exile to Egypt and Hashem forgives him for his sins. Can you imagine? So it's written, Ve'el Eshmot, and these are the names, Bnei Israel of the children of Israel, Habaim, that are coming now, Mitzrayma, 
את יעקב איש וביתו, יעקב איש and all of his household. So הבאים in present tense, it means that we always feel wherever we are in exile, we always feel like we are, you know, with our suitcases ready to go back to the land of Israel. So always the children of Israel and look, and look it's written, look over here, Shmot. means all of the, the exile of Egypt included all of the exiles that we had. That's why it's written Baim that are coming now because Bet is, stands for Babel, the ruining of the first temple. Aleph is Edom, the exile that we are in. Yud is Yavan, we just finished Hanukkah, Greek. And Mem is Madai, Parasu Madai, the exile of Parasu Madai that was after Babylon. So we see all of the exiles are included in the exile of Egypt. All of them. So let's see, what do we do? And it says, Be'eleshmo, these are the initials. Be'eleshmo, and these are the names. These are initials. Every word in these, in these, every letter in these words stands for a word. Be'eleshmo, ve'chayav adam lilmod ha'parasha. This is ve'elem, these. Shnaim. Mikra ve'echad targum. And a person, and every man has to learn the parasha twice to read it and also to read the Targum of in Unculus. So why, and while we do this, mamash, it's to atone for our sins. So if we read it and feel that it's, we are going through this and all the hardship that the children of Israel are going through when they went to Egypt and when they were, uh, and they became slaves over there, it's like we are going through this. So dear ladies, if we do that, how do we do that as ladies? Because they, the men read twice the parasha and also read the Targum. So what do we do as women? So I, I, I always tell you, read the parasha on Shabbat, we read the whole parasha. And can you pay attention? On Shabbat, there are seven men that are called to the Torah. Seven men, or I, I just wiped it, in order to fix the seven days of the week, the six days of the week, and Shabbat, that the coming Shabbat. Can you imagine? The seven, parallel to the seven midot, seven, a, a seven counts of the Kabbalah, seven attributes, and parallel to the seven weeks of the day. So, Basiyada Dishmaya, we see over here, so what do we do? We can, Mamashtu, will take the portions that are divided, like on Shabbat, it's divided to seven parts. So we can read the first part on Sunday, the second part on Monday, the third part on Tuesday, until we come to Shabbat, then we read the seventh part, and we read again the whole parasha. And us, instead of reading Tarjum, we can read Rashi. So we will know exactly what we are reading and will feel for, for ourselves and Klal Israel. And by this, Mamash, we are toying. So what are twins for our sins and especially the pgam, pgam abrit, the, uh, taking out sperm in vain and taking out mm -hmm, words in vain. So we go, the Chazara, if everything is hidden in here, know that when the children of Israel went to Egypt, Eov was born. Eov was born because we know that when they out in, of Egypt and Hashem wanted to split the sea for them, he sent Satan to Eov. So Hashem Namash Yov was born when they went down the, to Egypt. How do we know? It says, Yaakov, Ishu, Beito, Bau, the initials, Yaakov and all of his household came. Yaakov starts with a Yud, Ish starts with an Aleph, a Beito with a Vav, Bau with a Bet, Yov. You see? When the children of Israel went to Egypt, Yov was born. And well, let's see, what do we need to do? What do we need to fix? So it says, Bnei Yisrael Abayim Yitzrayim, let's go for the, to the beginning. Ve'ele Shmot Bnei Yisrael Abayim, and these are the names of the children of Israel who came, who come. And if we look at the end, 
of each of each word at the end letter of each word together it's the healing so the Tehillim are divided to seven parts, Nahon, Sunday, Monday. We're all doing the fixing of the days parallel to the fixing of the of the seven counts of the Kabbalah, which is a fixing to our character traits. <coughs> Everything and the seven people go to the Torah. Everything is connected. So we read Tehillim. What do we do? We read Tehillim for? So it's written Bnei Israel, Abayim Mitzrayim, the children of Israel that come. That, uh, that is coming to Egypt, the end letters of each one of them, each word, is Mila, uh, to circumcise, which means we are fixing Yesod, foundation. And we continue, Mitzrayma et Yaakov Yishubeto, Egypt, and Yaakov and all of his household, the end letters of each word is combined to tshuva, to repent. Look how beautiful it is, which means if we want to do tshuva, to repent over, over circumcision, over the, uh, abrit, over circumcision, okay, and it's not only mila, it's also mila, it's a word. In Hebrew mila, it's not only brit mila, it's also a word. Look, maza mila, Mila. So it's also a word, a word that we speak, nachon? Mm -hmm. But men is 40, Lamed is 30, Yud is 10, and He is 5, nachon? How much is it together? 85, nachon? What is 85? 80, 80 is Pe, and 5 is He, it's Pe. Our mouth. So the circumcision is parallel to our mouth. Because both of them take out. The, the foundation takes out sperm and the mouth takes out words. So we came to fix it. So how do we fix it? How do we do tshuva? By reading Tehillim. Let's continue. It says, Rabbi Tzvi Elimelech Medino says about this, that he heard from his rabbi, from his rebbe, that it's written in, in King David wrote in chapter 106 in Tehillim, verse 2, He who wants to take the judgment, to soften the judgment of Hashem, Gvorot is judgment, okay, to make it mercy, because the name of Hashem is mercy, Gvorot means Elohim, the, the God, which is judgment, and this is Hashem, okay, the name of Hashem of Chesed has to read Tehillim. The whole book of Tehillim. So we see it over here. If we want to fix all of our, all of our sins, what do we do? We, it's written, et, ish, et Yaakov Ish, which means Yaakov and as his household. If we look at the end letters, we come to Shabbat. So we want to fix the Siyat Adishmaya. We need to fix by keeping Shabbat. And when we keep Shabbat, even if we were like Dor Enosh, Hashem forgives us. And by this, Bezrat Hashem, by keeping Shabbat Kilchata, by learning the commandments of Shabbat, because the commandments of Hashem is the word of Hashem. So by, we have to all, all the time repeat to go, follow the commandments of Hashem. So by doing this and keeping Shabbat, Vesiyat Adishma, Hashem helps us to go in the right way in order to atone for all of our sins. And we see that Shemot is also the, the initials of all of the signs that we have between us, of all of the treaties between us and Hashem. Because the Shin of Shemot is Shabbat. You see? It's Shabbat, stands for Shabbat, ki ot hi beiniu benechem, because this is a sign, a treaty between, Shabbat is a treaty between me and you, says Hashem. And we go to Mila. The mem over here is Mila, is circumcision. And if we go to Parashat Lech Lecha, and it says, unmaltem et psar orlatchem, you should circumcise yourselves, vaya leot brit beiniu benechem, and it will be a sign between you and me. And then we go, Abba'am Bet stands for Tfilin. 
These are three signs that we have between us and Hashem. And it says that Filin, Vaya, in Parashat Bo, Vaya Leot, and it will be a treaty, a sign. Al Yadecha, on your hand, Uletofafot Benenecha, and in between your eyes, over here, it says this is the treaty of Filin. So we see that at the time, at the time now, Besiata Dishmaya, of all of the Shobabim, all of these portion, we can mamash like be a new, a new human being. Briya Chadasha. By, by fixing our character traits and fixing the sins that we have between us and other human beings, by being nice to each other, using our mouth only to be nice to each other, using our face to smile, doesn't matter what we go through. What we go through is what Hashem wants us to go through in order to atone for us, and for previous reincarnations, and in order to atone for our parents, our grandparents, or people that are not here, we don't know the cheshbonot, the calculations of Hashem. We just need to say thank you to Hashem for everything. Everything that Hashem does is with his righteous and, he, and a true judgment. And everything is good, but we can't see it because we look at the level of our, our eyes. So we don't know, we don't see the whole picture. We are in the picture, so we can't see the whole picture. But Hashem is inside and outside. He sees the whole picture. He sees everything. So He knows it's for our best. So we said, how do we atone? We read Tehillim. We must say, you do Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, so look. To do a fixing of Mila, look how beautiful it is. To do a tikkun, le Mila, okay? The tikkun shal Mila, tikkun ha Mila. No, it's okay, you speak. Yes, I don't need to. To do the fixing, besiata dishma of circumcision, which means sparing sperm in vain or having intimate relationships that are forbidden. How do we do tikkun, Shalmila? If we take the word tikkun, fixing, the taf over here, and we take the word mila, it's the healing. By reading the healing. And why do we do that? We just said, Vesiata Dishmaya, that maybe next week I'll go into it with Yaakov Avin. Why do we tehillim? A toins for her, and how is it connected to Yaakov Avinu Besiata Dishmaya? But you see this? That's why, how do we fix a baby? A baby has to go, Tinok, has to go through Shabbat, Nachon? Here, Shabbat. Has to have a Shabbat. Eight days, after eight days, we do circumcision, Nachon? So, Tikkun, a fixing, is the letters of Tinok. You see a baby. A circumcision after eight days. He has to pass through all the seven days through Shabbat and then he is circumcised. So Tikkun is the letters of Tinok. Why? Because any baby, every baby that comes over here is to fix in this world. Mainly the fixing the sins that we have between us and other human beings. Mamash ben Adam Mamash Tinok, look at this. So what happens? This is also the letters of Nituk. Nituk, how do you say it in English? To be cut off. Ken, what does it mean? Because before the soul was under the throne of Hashem, and the soul doesn't want to come over here to this world, but Al Kochecha Ata Balekan. It says in Masechet Avod that it's, if you want or you don't want, you're coming to this world. Yes. So you, this is Nituk. We, we, mamash, we are taken under the throne of Hashem and we are brought over here to this world. And angels are keeping us so we won't go anywhere <laughs> to protect us over here. And we'll come to this world. And if you want to, if you don't want, you're living in this world. And when it come, the time comes, nobody is asking you. You go out of this world. Like the train. You don't know for which stop you're going to go <laughs> out of the train. So this is Mamash Tirum. By Tehillim. 
If it's a Talmid Chacham, that also it's not only circumcision and intimate relationship that are forbidden, but also if a person says a word, uh, slandering, lying, anything that he heard other people, he should... Uh, so if he's a, a, a scholar in Torah and he used to learn one peric, one chapter, he needs to, to learn two chapters. And if we are as women, we need to learn to learn to heal in Besiata Dishma because it, it fixes our mouth and it fixes anything that we did not uh, we didn't do good in the will of Hashem. So we see it over here. This is Tikun Mila Besiata Dishma, and that's why it says Mi Emalel Gvurot Hashem Yeshmiya Kol Tilato. He who wants to fix a, to soften the judgment that is upon him and make it and see that only mercy will be upon him he should read all of the book of the year. So dear ladies, Besiata Vishmaya will continue Machar with Shumashmot. I Bezrat Hashem next week will speak how Yaakov Avin is connected to Tehillim and why all of Li Neder, why the Tehillim uh, because you should know it's 150 chapters in Tehillim, but originally King David wrote 147 chapters. Yes, it's not supreme, and the Rambam says only 147, just like the days that, uh, that the years that Yaakov Avinu was uh, li lived in this world. So Bezrat Hashem would like to bless all of us. Oh. Ah, wait, wait, another thing that I wanted to give you. Very important, Besiyat Rishmaya, Rega. So it says like this, Rabbi Elimelech Milizansk, Anoim Elimelech says this, I told you there's a fast, fast from eating that they do, and we spoke about the fasts. But he who does a fast of speech, and read three times the book of Tehillim, listen, it's like we fasted from food six days, day and night. One after the other. And this is called Ta'anit Afsaka. They are righteous people that do Ta'anit Afsaka from Shabbat to Shabbat. They don't eat during the six days of the week, day and night. And, and it says, Ta'anit Afsaka, he who does Ta'anit Afsaka, Poel betikuno, v'nechshav lo adavar kilu itana, it's considered to he, for him like he fasted from food, 65,600 fasts. So can you imagine what, a, spe what a, a fast of speech can do? We are going to have here on the week of Beshalach, Besiata, the 29th of January, the 7th of, of, a, of, of Shvat. We are going wow. to Sunday, 5.30, we're going to have over here the fast of speech during the Shavavim. I would like to bless all of us that we will all have the spirit to greet Mashiach Tzidkan Machamim Moim Bimara Amen Amen Eliyahu Nabi Zechul Atov Olam Iparad Adam Yichav Rovid Bara Lachai Yechid Barabim Alachai Kerem.